A celebration of Mid Devon's agriculture, food, drink and talents was enjoyed by thousands this weekend as the Mid Devon show made its comeback after last year's cancellation. The 28th Mid Devon show was held on Saturday July the 24th at the grounds of the Knightsays estate. Organisers welcomed back around 15,000 people after disappointment last year when it was cancelled due to Covid-19. Organisers welcomed back the spectacle and all those who attended. Look at all the happy smiley faces all the people. You know, the rural community has suffered more than most with uh, this lockdown, uh, mental health wise, and the people are you know, smiling, catching up with old friends. I know people will be concerned about the coronavirus, but we managed to get the vaccination clinic here and the lateral flow testing people here. So people, if you haven't had your jab, go and get it here at the show. We're observing COVID strict guidelines, keeping people distant, one-way systems, extra hand sanitization, wearing face masks if we recommend them in the marquees. But it's lovely to see and the businesses are doing a roaring trade. Just how important is it for Mid Devon and the wider rural community to have this event happening? This event in Mid Devon is the single biggest tourist attraction and crowd gatherer in Mid Devon. We have had a lot of support from the local councils um, and I can't thank them enough. They have been wonderful. It's been an absolute relief and the fact that it's gone so smoothly, um, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, we've been so lucky with the weather, um, it's just been a complete relief and uh, I said to somebody earlier, it's been quite emotional just to see everybody come to the show field, enjoying themselves, coming together and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been great. What are highlights this year for you and uh, what, what have you enjoyed seeing around the showgrounds? Well personally I've always had a, a, a soft heart for the, um, uh, for the music fest and I've been over there a couple of times just to have a little look over the heads to see what's going on and it looks like it's been a real success. The new stage we've got there, the bands that we've got coming on, um, so people have really enjoyed it over there. Um, but the overriding success for me and is the, is the fact that we've been put on, able to put on the show this year. Just what's gone into being able to get it open and running here today? Um, well in a normal year to put on a show it is a, it is a tough job but this year it has been doubly tough and we've had to work with so many people and quite rightly so you know uh, Mid Devon District Council, the police, the ambulance service, the uh, EHO and all the people that we ha are quite rightly had to be involved with the show they've helped us put this on and that's also been driven by the community because if we thought that the community of Mid Devon did not want to put it on then we wouldn't be doing it but uh, that's true we've had people come from all over the southwest and a bit further beyond as well and um, we are really celebrating what we've got to offer here in Mid Devon. Once again there were plenty of sheep, pigs, cows and more to see as Mid Devon celebrated the best of its agriculture. One of those enjoying the day was farmer and Member of Parliament for the area, Neil Parrish. It's great and here in Devon we're setting an example. We had the Devon County Show, we've got Mid Devon now, we've got Honiton Show to come. Somerset's given up, Cornwall's given up. It's right to be out in the open enjoying the cattle, the sheep, the pigs, all that goes with it here um, and it's great to see everybody here enjoying themselves and I'm just delighted that, that you know Colin Rowland and everybody organising it here has managed to run this show this year and I think it's great to see everybody back. Just how important is it for those in the rural countryside to be able to come and have these events. But it is really important because we got local food, uh, we got local suppliers of tractors and machinery here. They can sell their wares, and everybody can enjoy the local crafts. And it's just a good idea that everybody can see what agriculture and food production offers the county of Devon. And we are a great county with great food. And any highlights for you this afternoon? For me, I like to see the ruby reds and the Devons and the Devons and the Herefords and some of the. Continentals, the limousines and others. I like to see the breeds of sheep coming through, uh, and it's just nice being a farmer. It's nice to sort of this is where I can go entirely native at a show like this and enjoy seeing lots of my constituents, talking to lots of people, but also enjoying the show as well. Elsewhere, it was a welcome return for events for the show's charity of the year, Hospice Care. Oh, we're just delighted to be back out talking to the public that have been so supportive of us in this last year. It's been the most difficult year and we know we're facing another difficult year but to be here at an event is just joyous. How's it been today in terms of getting people in and telling them all about the charity? People have been delighted to come and talk to us. We've been thrilled. You know, people 
people come up and tell us the most heartwarming stories about how our nurses have cared for their loved ones um, but also ideas they've got for fundraising and just how happy they are to be out and about as well how important is it to be the chose, chosen charity for 2020 and now into 2021 it's vital support like this is vital um, the the hospice is facing a deficit of about 1.5 million pounds this year and without support like this and without being able to come and talk to people we just won't raise that sort of money so the support of the local show has just been incredible we're delighted meanwhile back in the main ring there was a feast of entertainment from the likes of the heavy horses dartmoor hill ponies and the diamond twirlers majorettes thank you for Also in the main ring were the Tiverton Fox and Staghounds, who let children come and meet the hounds and try and beat them in a race. It's good, good, good. Kids are loving it, so that's the main thing, and weather's holding out at the minute, so yeah. Can't grumble about anything at the minute. Must be nice to be able to get out and show the stag hands to people again. Yeah, well, it's, it's a good opportunity for um, people that wouldn't normally get to see hounds and stuff come and meet them and realise that they're not they're not a bad bunch and they're, they're happy and they love kids and they love what they do. Like the main attraction for this year in the ring was the death-defying stunts from Paul Hannum with the ATV stunt show, which brought in the crowds who looked on as he jumped over tractors and cars. That was awesome being my local show. I only come from Barnstable, so it's probably the most local show I'll do this year. Like usually we're up country, up right up until Scotland, all over the place. So it's real great to like perform in front of local people. And what was the reception like in the uh, atmosphere? That uh, was brilliant. Probably one of the best we've had on the show circuit. So it's just great to be here. Some of those stunts looked a bit dangerous just how brave have you got to be to be able to get up there and do that sort of thing um it takes a lot of practice i've been doing it for like seven years now doing stunt shows and been racing for 10 years but um yeah it just all comes with practice and judgment it's, um, it's been two years since i last jumped a tractor so it's a bit a bit nerve-wracking two years First wow how back. was it doing it today it was fine once i've got the running good speed up in the running um yeah just lined it all up nicely and it was fine over in the music and dance pavilion, a new stage had been erected to give a festival atmosphere for performers including the Tiverton Amateur Operatic Society, Drop in the Ocean and Disco Cactus. Whoa, 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 with me, whoa, whoa. just the best we're having actually we're having a really good time and it's nice to be at last doing the stage for the mid -down. we do a lot of stuff around the town as, as you well know uh, and um, uh, this year they're trying to put on something very special so they've invited us along to do the sound oh yeah, and we've had some really good acts and some great bands on there and, and obviously the last band Disco with the Cactus they've been absolutely fantastic and they've sent the sort of day off really well we're, we're really pleased with the way they've gone there's some really good talent in the town obviously I live there um, but there really is some good and it's nice to be, for us to be able to work with all, everybody other attractions included young farmers clubs crafts Devon and Cornwall police and the vegetable and flower marquee with a Bill and Ben display. 
Well, it's great, really. Um, and it's just amazing that people have actually produced so many wonderful vegetables and flowers, really, because we've not had a good season. Um, so it's been marvellous, that the show that we've been, we've been able to put on. Really. The, the gardeners, they've had... A lovely time and, and a lot of people have taken up gardening which is really great but we need to get out we need to meet different people and it encourages you to um, look at your garden in a different way and what you're producing in a different way so you know and it's good to meet everybody else and um, I've just been told by one of the um, sh um, uh, this showing people in there that how they have that little bit of banter between each other and you know I can go better carrots than you know so, yeah they all look for, and what's yeah. the thought behind the Bill and Ben display well we try and do something different every year and um, we alternate it with fictional and something a little bit more serious so this time we're on a fictional and I don't know we just came up with the idea of Bill and Ben and we yeah, we just like to do something a bit different and, and it's something like the for the children to see as well because mm. we've got slow co coach of tortoise there if you can see him yeah, yeah. yeah. and little weed but the snag is a lot of children don't rem remember Bill and Ben it's the older people <laughs> Classic cars and tractors were also out on display. New for this year was a display from the Devon General Omnibus Trust. Well, we're delighted to be here. Um, we, we park our buses just up the road uh, a few miles away and we are celebrating the golden era of bus travel in, in uh, this part of Devon because Mid-Devon was served by the Devon General Bus Company and we've got examples of the preserved buses here which we work on night and day and we love them. Just how has it been to come to the Mid-Devon show and events like this after the last year we've had? Well it's great to get out and about and it's lovely to see people appreciating the buses and uh, buses need a run. They don't want to be stuck in a depot, they're just like people. They need to get out and about and be seen and be appreciated by other people. Get your diaries out now because next year's Mid Devon show is due to take place on Saturday, July the 23rd. And we'll see you there. Lewis Clark for Devon Live in Tiverton.